Good morning, second graders. Ah, we are here for another week, and I am so excited that you have, have logged in and you are ready to get your brains ready to start a brand new week where we can learn a lot of things and grow our stretchy growth mindsets brains. So let's begin. We are on the letter J, and I am going to write my name on the very top of my paper because anytime I see the word name on a paper, I like to put my name on it, Mr. with a capital M, Mr. Garrett. Excellent. And I start at the top and I go down, 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 make sure I touch the bottom and then go part way back up. It looks like a hook, like a fish hook. Go down, 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 and part way back up. I want to make sure that I have space so that I can go over, down, 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 over, and up. Down, 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 over, and up. Down, 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 over, and up. They don't all have to look the same. We are not computers. We don't write our letters the same way every single time, but that's okay. Being unique is interesting and wonderful. And we have a picture of a jar of jam or jelly right there. Both of those start with the letter J. All right, I can identify the initial sound in single syllable words. I have this, it's a picture of a sock. And at the beginning of the word sock, I know that it's going to be an S. I can identify consonant blends in single syllable words. And I look at this and it's a person that has a, uh, a crown and a sash and looks very official to me. Looks like they might be wearing a robe in the back. And the last part of this word is ince. Hmm, it can't be king, it must be pr, prince, prince, P-R, makes the er, the pr sound. Excellent. I can identify consonant digraphs in words. And this is a picture of a fluffy white sheep, sheep. And whenever I think of a sheep, I think of bringing my finger up to my mouth and telling somebody politely, shh, to be a little bit quieter. And shh is made with the S-H. S-H says shh, and we add that, it makes it say sheep. Excellent, let's keep going. Uh, and remember, boys and girls, if we are going too fast, you can pause and catch up and then hit play to keep going. And you can even watch this all over again if you want. I can use end punctuation and capitalization in my sentence. This is a sentence that was written by somebody. They wrote it down, but they didn't finish it. So let's finish it for them. Let's be the teacher. All right. And uh, in our work, in our writing, we are learning to revise. That means we're looking at something saying this would make it better. Let's revise, revise. All right, so this, I know that my sentences need to start with capital letters, and I need to put punctuation at the end of my sentence. And so we're going to put something here. All right, boys and girls, I'm going to start at the top for the capital T, go all the way down in a straight line, and then a hat, T, H, E. Then I put a space. E. L. E. P. H. A. N. T. The elephant. Now I see that space. I just need another space here. Is. Another space. Pink. The elephant is pink. Now, boys and girls, I think I'm going to put a period. But I've only seen pink elephants in cartoons. And if I saw one in real life, I might think that was very exciting. So I might put an exclamation point. But this, the elephant is pink. I'm going to put a 
period here. And I almost forgot my dot on my eye. All right, let's move up. I can make a list of rhyming words. Rhyming words sound the same at the end of the word. So I have this, eh, m, eh, m, m. In the m word family, this is a j, gem. Gem, that's a famous, or that's a jewel that starts with the G. The G can make the J sound. Uh, let's think of other words. You're probably thinking of some, oh, I know. Uh, I know that Mrs. Raber really likes to do gardening, and on her flowers, they have a stem. Stem, that's the, the part that holds the flower up. Uh, let's see. Oh, I know. If I have more than one, I might say them. I see them. Excellent. And let's see, one more. Oh, I know. At the bottom of my pants, when the cloth is folded over and sewed together so it doesn't get uh, a lot of strings on it, we call that a hem. Excellent. So those all rhyme. Gem, stem, them, hem. They all sound the same at the end of the letter, or at the end of the word, they are rhyming words. All right, number seven. I can use root words with the correct inflectional form. Please, hmm, in the chair. My choices are sits, sitting, sit. Please sits in the chair. Mm, that doesn't sound right. Please sitting in the chair. That doesn't sound right either. Please sit in the chair. That's the one. So I'm going to color this in. And since I have room, I'm going to write it right on that line. Please sit in the chair. Excellent. I can read and write grade level sight words. Her, H-E-R, her. This one, T-H-E-R-E -E spells there. There, over there is where I see a gem. Good. This S-O-M-E spells some. S-O-M-E. Some of my students are very good at spelling these words. Here we go. Nine. I can identify the number of syllables in a word. Rectangle. Rectangle. Now let's clap it out. Rectangle. It's okay to clap it out at home. Rectangle. How many times did you clap? I clapped. One, two, three. Rectangle. Rectangle. So I'm going to mark here rectangle. And I'm going to say there's one, two, three sections, three vowel sounds. That is three syllables. Excellent. Let's move this up. And I have this. Number 10. I can capitalize and use commas in dates. Today is, that's what it says, today is Monday. Today is Monday, comma, September. The comma makes us know that there's the end of the day and the beginning of the month. Monday, September 21. 21. And I don't have room for my date here, or for my year, so I'm going to put this, and I'm going to write it down here, 2020, with a period at the end. All right, extra practice. Make a circle map with words and pictures that start with J on the back of your paper. So here we go. Let's see. I'm going to write a circle and a J and a lowercase J 
And let's see. I saw on the other side, I'm going to do that. And I'm going to draw a, a jar. My jar can hold jelly or jam. And let's see, another J. Oh, I'm going to draw this. And this. And this. And this. And that, boys and girls, is how I would draw jelly beans. Jelly beans, my jar and my jelly beans. I was, I just realized I wasn't showing you my first. <laughs> and the last one. Uh, oh, oh, I know. This is really fast. Let's see. I'm going to draw this and this and this. And I'll put a window in the front. And these are lots of windows along the side. Because this is a, a jet. All right, boys and girls, I know that you can do a lot more. Think of words that start with J and have a wonderful day.